welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a crock pot white chicken chili and it's going to be creamy without the need of dairy. So let's get right into it. First off, you're going to take an onion and cut it in half, peel it and then chop it super, super finely. And next you take three cloves of garlic. Again, you peel them and then I find the easiest is to just crush the garlic, but you can obviously also chop it. Then we're going to take a vegetable that nobody will even notice it's in there to make the soup a little bit healthier. Um, take four stalks of celery and cut them super, super tiny. No one will ever know. Then take two poblano chilies and one jalapeno chili. If you like your soup extra spicy, use another jalapeno chili or just don't deseed the chilies that you're using. I'm going to deseed them for that. I just cut off the top end and then I shake it really hard until all the seeds fall out. After that, I'm going to, again, chop the chilies just like I did with the celery, just like I did with the onion. And then we have all the vegetables that will go into the soup. Now you have two options. You can either just dump all of that in the slow cooker or what I like to do, because I feel it gives it a little bit of a better taste, um, I like to saute all those vegetables a little bit, just like five to 10 minutes maybe in a large pan over medium heat. And once the onions are translucent, I then transfer everything into the slow cooker. And then I also add two large chicken breasts. They are 10 ounces each and cannellini beans. I put one cup of dried cannellini beans into water and let them sit on my kitchen counter overnight to soak. This is what makes the soup creamy. If you use canned beans, it will not turn out the same way. I highly encourage you to soak cannellini beans, dried cannellini beans overnight on your kitchen counter, rinse them the next day, drain them really well, and then add those soaked beans into your slow cooker. This is what will make the, the soup super, super, super creamy. Then you add all the spices that we need for this soup, which is salt and pepper, cumin, coriander, and some ancho chili or any of the chili powder that you like. Or if you don't like your soup too spicy, then just let the fresh chilies do their work and do not add the chili powder. Then add four cups of chicken broth, put on the lid and set the slow cooker to eight hours on low. I do not recommend cooking on high because the soup will be much creamier if you cooked it for eight hours on low. After the eight hours cooking time, remove your chicken from the slow cooker and take two forks to shred all the meat and then return the meat into the slow cooker to give it a quick stir and serve. And now all there's left to do is top it with your favorite toppings. Mine are homemade crunchy tortilla strips, avocado, a dollop of sour cream, cilantro, and then a drizzle of lime juice. So delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more recipes like this one. And if you try the recipe, please don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram, tag me. I want to see, I want to know how you liked it and I'll see you with my next video. Bye. Gotta go eat that soup now.